Hi, my name is Monique. I currently live in my 2022 Ford Transit Connect van in order to save money so that I can eventually buy land and live a simpler life. And I enjoy sharing snippets of my life with you all. I woke up this morning to battery issues. My 60 amp fuse keeps popping. The 60 amp fuse underneath my hood. And once the fuse pops or whatever the technical term is for it, um, my batteries don't charge. Sammy Jenkins. I guess I tell people about Sammy to help them understand. Sammy's story helps. Me. It's raining today and on rainy days if I don't have to do gig work or have to do anything I like to just stay in bed a little longer I don't want to convert my bed to a couch yet but the thing with that is when my when I'm in bed mode I can't reach my foot pump to get water so every night I always make sure I fill up my thermos so that in the morning if I want to hang out in bed for a while I can still do things like brush my teeth wash my face wash my body and drink water <laughs> Thank you. 
I have this huge blanket. I would have so much more room in my home <laughs> if I didn't insist on having this huge duvet. But I love it. This is Brooklinen. Every now and then, the ads on YouTube actually get to me. And Brooklinen, great company. There's so many YouTubers out here who have um, discount codes or whatever, so I used somebody's discount code. I don't know who's. <laughs> But yeah, this thing is huge. I got the medium sized one. They have like the huge one, a thin one, and then like a regular one for all year round. I got the all year round one. I absolutely love it so, so, so much. I have to roll it up every morning and put bungee cord around it so that it doesn't unravel throughout the day when I put it on the couch. It takes up so much space and I don't think I will ever change that. I will never get rid of it. On my way to the grocery store I'm gonna get a few groceries and I don't think I have much more to do besides that I'm fasting today whenever I fast I fast from sunrise to sunset I start my fast at sunrise and I break my fast at sunset all of that to say that I haven't eaten today yet so I don't really have to cook breakfast or lunch or anything like that I don't really have much to do because I'm fasting and all I'm really doing today is just some inner work really and grocery shopping so i will take you along with that oh and today is a bill paying day i have to pay bills so i will show you all my bill paying process let you all see for yourself and decide if van lifers are saving money not van lifers if monique the van lifer named monique is saving money i'm going to calculate my bills i'm going to calculate how much i've spent on food this month already how much i've spent on gas plus all of my fixed bills and show you everything and you all can decide like if you wanted to do something like this would it be worth it am i really saving a lot of money and that's really all i have planned for today i drive so much more carefully now that my home is my vehicle i'm a right lane driver now i used to drive in the left lane i was chatting with one of my viewers and <laughs> telling her about my road rage. I used to have serious road rage, you guys. <laughs> Speeding, tailgating. I don't do any of that stuff anymore. I have calmed down a lot. I drive in the right lane until it's like time for me to get into the left lane and turn. Or if the right lane is like 40 miles an hour, I can't handle that. <laughs> I think this is where I turn. Your destination is on the left. Because as many of you know, I used to live in my Buick Encore and I wrecked it, I totaled it. Oh crap, dang it, I'm gonna get a ticket. I just got a ticket. <laughs> I used my parents' address for my life driver's license and they just sent me a text of a toll booth ticket I got during my travels recently. I don't know what state it was in. I remember on the map, I remember when I was driving somewhere on the map. Is this a parking spot? I'm sorry, you guys. I'm very confused. Was that a parking spot? It's Thursday. It's 3.40 on a Thursday. Why is it so... Oh, there's a person opening up. Okay. Uh... Oh, that was a parking spot. Okay, now I know. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember what I was talking about. Something about me being a safe driver. I just I just got on the interstate. Like, I kid you not. I wonder if I got it on my dash cam. <laughs> like, 10 seconds into merging onto the interstate, there was almost a crash, like, right in front of me. 
I'm like, what are these people doing? Anyways, we're fasting. Everything is positive. Everything is great. <laughs> Let's go in this grocery store. I got some bananas, green leaf lettuce, kimchi. I have never tried this brand before. I've heard of it, but I have never tried it. Tomatoes, and the thing that I went to the store for, because I don't typically shop at Sprouts. That's where I was just at, Sprouts. I don't shop there, but they're the only store that sells this stuff. I wanted the plain. They didn't have plain. They only had sriracha. So I got three sriracha's. But this is a tofu made purely of fava beans. And I have been planning on making fava bean tofu because I watched Mary's Test Kitchen, a YouTube channel, and she made it from scratch and it was so easy. And I said to myself, that's gonna be a staple when I have a normal size home. I'm gonna make my own fava bean tofu like weekly. But I, I don't have the space to do all that in this van. So until then, I'm just going to Eat this stuff. I'm so excited. I just know I'm gonna like it. I hope I like it. <laughs> I bought three. Never tried it before and I bought three. I was just so excited. The sriracha doesn't smell overwhelming, which is great because I didn't want sriracha in the first place. Oh, this is super firm. lemon pepper, garlic, and Old Bay. All right, let's do the other side. Same thing. batteries are dead. Day and the okra, a little salt, garlic. You know, something I should have put in my video, the video where I had the video named um, 28 things that make van life comfortable. I should have put having a huge 12 inch pan. You guys, it's so convenient. <laughs> like, I'm cooking an entree and two side dishes all in the same pan. I just love that. I love it so much. And I'm gonna eat out of this pan so I just dirty up less dishes. It's just awesome. And whenever you cook this way, if something gets done faster than something else, like the tofu is done and the butternut squash is done, but I wanted the okra to get a little bit more crispy, all you have to do is just move the pan around. So I have the tofu and the butternut squash away from the fire, and the okra is like right over the ring on the fire. So that's how you cook three separate items that might have three separate cooking times in the same pan. Just move the pan around the fire. Right, 
this is done. It's time to break my fast. First meal of the day. I'm so excited. Bismillah. Mm. <laughs> oh, this is so delicious. Mm, with the okra. Okra, delicious. Butternut squash, delicious. And now let's try the fava bean tofu. So dark in here. I'm trying to show you for those of you who are curious, but it's just really dark. But the texture is just like firm tofu, firm soy tofu. It has a slight bean taste, a slight fava bean taste. But if you season it well, you don't taste it that much. It's not overpowering. Mm, I'm so satisfied with my dinner. I need to focus. <laughs> I'm about to go in on this food. Annihilated. So for me, paying bills honestly just means taking a certain amount of money from my business bank account and putting it into my personal bank account because all of my bills are automatic. Now that I've done that, let's go over every bill I pay each month. Back when I lived in my Buick Encore, I made a video about this already. So if I remember, I'll put the little link and you can check that one out as well and compare and see if things have changed much. I will say one thing has changed and that is my car insurance. I got in an accident last year and that made my car insurance go up. I already shopped around different car insurance companies. They all charged me annoying prices because of the car accident. So I'm not going to look for any other insurance companies. I'm just going to wait three years and then after three years I'm going to take that little online driving, defensive driving test or whatever and have my insurance lowered and just try to have everything reevaluated and see if I can get it lowered. The first bill I have on my list is Canva. I spend $13 a month on Canva. I use Canva for business to create my thumbnails for these videos. And I use Canva a little bit for my other side business that I have. I spend $1 a month on iCloud, $6 a month on Gmail. My phone bill is $104.21. Some people might say, oh, you can lower your phone bill, but I like my phone plan. I have 55 gigabytes of hotspot. And when you live in a vehicle, hotspot is very important because you're not always near Wi-Fi. So I have not found another plan that has 55 gigabytes of hotspot. Um, and I have phone insurance, which I have used several times. So for $104.21 a month to have good phone insurance and 55 gigabytes of hotspot, I don't know, I haven't found a better plan. I pay $22.06 a month for Planet Fitness membership. My, I have a public storage unit, a five by five public storage unit. I pay $99 a month for that. I'm trying to figure out how to get rid of that, but I don't know if it's possible. I have a washing machine and a dryer, and those are the main reasons why I'm keeping that unit because I don't have anywhere to put those things. And I don't wanna ask my family to keep that in their houses. I spend $10 a month as a patron for someone. I spend $219.30 on car insurance. Oof. A few months ago, I was just paying like $160 something dollars a month. Then it jumped up. And like I said before, my insurance is high because of the car accident. I checked Progressive. I checked the other people, Allstate, whatever. Everyone was charging me crazy prices like this because of the car accident. So I'm just accepting it until three years from the day of the accident when I will return to scouring the internet looking for cheaper car insurance prices. 
I spend $300 a month on food. My food, I used to spend nearly $400 a month, but I recently stopped snacking and I never realized how expensive snacking is, <laughs> especially if you want to eat healthy snacks. And cutting out snacks and no longer snacking, I started this in the beginning of December when I cut out snacks. Man, I did it for gut reasons, just to give my gut a break from always working and eating and stuff. That's why I did it. But then there was an added benefit. My monthly grocery bill went down significantly. So that was exciting. <laughs> Looking at my bank account, I spent $35.17 on gas on January 10th. And then I spent $38.04 on gas on January 22nd. Let's just round it to $40. And this is filling up my tank from E. Where I, on the East Coast, gas is cheap. And I've been living this lifestyle on this side of the country since I lived in my Buick, since I first started. So I'm not spending a ton on gas. Um, even in the summer, when gas prices get higher, it's just nothing like the prices when you start going west in this country, towards the west coast. And those are all of my monthly bills. That's it. People ask about health insurance. I have not had health insurance for the mo majority of my adult life. Even when I had jobs that offered health insurance, I would never accept it because it cost too much. <laughs> it would it just cost too much. And I, and I rarely go to the hospital. I haven't been to a doctor in years. Back in 2012, I went to the doctor a lot when I found out I had health issues. But after like a couple of years of dealing with them and seeing little to no results, I took my health in my own hands. I haven't been back to the doctor since. I went to the emergency room one time since 2012. I just don't see the point and spending all that money on health insurance. That's why I'm trying to just save money, live simply, and save whatever leftover money I have each month for my income. And you know, if I ever do need to go to the doctor, I will just pay out of pocket because even the healthcare.gov prices are insane for people who make a, a little bit of money like me. It's insane. So I don't pay for health insurance. Um, what was another thing people asked about? People asked about car maintenance. Car maintenance is not a monthly bill. Car maintenance is a couple times a year, maybe, unless something specifically happens to my car. Other than, other than that, I just get it serviced when it needs to be serviced. That's not a monthly bill, so I don't include that. Oh, I also have Starlink. Starlink is $150 per month, but I have the plan that you can pause and unpause and I have not been paying for Starlink since my Colorado trip. I, I have it, I still have it. I have the satellite in here. I think it's great to have when I need it. I love that I can just turn it, my service back on if I ever need it, but I haven't needed it since Colorado and I'm really not too fond of spending $150 a month for internet. <laughs> so I work really, really hard to not have to turn my Starlink on. I work really hard to find places that have at least one bar that I can work with. If I have to prop my phone up in the weirdest places in this van, I will do it to get that one bar and I can work with that one bar. Let's add it all up and see what I pay per month. So adding everything up, it says I pay $934.57 per month. So you guys, that is how much I spend in one month living in a van and the reason i'm able to do this is because i do not travel as much as other youtuber van lifers that's why my monthly cost of living is less than a thousand dollars i am not on the west coast gas where i'm at is not nearly as expensive as gas on the west coast it's just not i actually want to go to the west coast soon but one thing that has been holding me back is gas prices i don't want to pay their stupid gas prices <laughs> It's ridiculous, it's just ridiculous. That's the main argument when people write to me and they're like, oh, you're not being truthful, this lifestyle really is expensive. Or, or when people tell me you're spending as much on gas as you are on rent. I just think that they're putting all van lifers in a box that I don't fit in. I am not in this to travel. My number one reason for living this way is to save money, so that's what I'm gonna do. And still, even if my monthly cost of living was $1,500 a month, that's still significantly cheaper than people paying rent in America right now. So, you know, I don't know what else I can say to the people who 
think that this lifestyle doesn't allow you to save money. You, it does if you choose that lifestyle for yourself. And I also wanted to just quickly say that the great thing about this for me is that I only see my monthly cost of living getting lower because in a couple of years, I'm going to be able to lower my insurance and eventually I'm going to find a way to get rid of that public storage unit, <laughs> especially if they keep raising the rent. So $934 really is on the higher end. I really plan on getting my monthly cost of living even lower. All right, I'm about to relax and chill and thank you all for being here. I will see you in next week's video. Take care.